Welcome back to the channel. So let's hop right into this tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys how to stop CSGO from crashing. Um, for me, this worked. Uh, I'm not too sure how this will work for others, but I mean, it can't hurt to try at this point. So the first thing you want to do is go to your game, right click and hit properties. Make sure you have no launch options here. Go to local files, verify integrity of game files. Now I've already done that, so um, I'm not going to do it again because it does take uh, roughly five minutes. And once that's done, go ahead and hit browse and click on Steam, go to user data. Now, if you have signed into multiple profiles, um, you're gonna see you know more than one. Um, to identify which one is the main profile, you're gonna wanna open up each folder and see when was the last date modified. So for example, mine was today at 822, so I know for a fact that this is gonna be my profile. So once you've identified the uh, correct profile, hit 730 go to local CFG and go ahead and open up video defaults and go ahead and change GPU underscore mem underscore level to zero and change GPU underscore level to zero as well now go ahead and hop into the video text document and make sure that the GPU mem level um, and the mem level is at two as you can see and you are all done with that make sure that the gpu level is at zero there as well now you're completely done with this um, go back to steam go to steam apps common uh, find the csgo folder go ahead and hit properties on csgo and click compatibility and go ahead and check disable full screen optimizations make sure nothing else is checked and do not run the game in compatibility mode now at this stage there is realistically only two more things you can do so the next step you can do is I found this uh, registry editor here um, essentially it is just a file that was created by someone else which would just change the uh, allow game DVR to zero which is the this is uh, essentially the Windows game recording uh, system for Windows and some people have found that for whatever reason this is causing people to crash so if you are feeling comfortable with allowing this file to uh, do a registry edit then you can click on this file and I've already done it so I'm not going to re-click it um, but if you want the original link here it is here now I have done this and it did work for me so I'd recommend giving it a try and now the very last thing you can do so if you don't have the Nvidia control panel um, whatever brand of GPU you have they should have something similar and there's some specific options you need to select here so for as many options as possible for the global setting um, try and put them to application controlled which obviously it's exactly what it says the application that's using the GPU is the one that's setting the settings and that's what you're gonna want now for the texture filtering as well as the power management mode both of that needs to be at maximum performance if you're at a uh, if you're on a laptop you're gonna have to look up uh, as well as uh, as this is Windows uh, power management and if you're on a laptop that will allow you to put the power management to maximum performance as well now that's all you can do for the control panels regardless of what GPU brand you have uh, in terms of a fix for CSGO crashing however you can also update your CPU and your GPU drivers as well now if you were to let's say go to Google you could simply look up um, you know let's just say GTX 900 uh, GPU driver download you know and you can do that for practically any brand of GPU and you can find the drivers but that's very literally all you can do um, perhaps one last recommendation would be putting uh, FPS underscore max 80 in your console in CSGO which will lower the frame rate uh, because the heat 
from your GPU is causing uh, crashes on CSGO as well. So that's pretty much all you can do, boys, um, other than upgrading your system or putting all your CSGO settings to low. There's pretty much no other option. So if this worked for you or if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll get to you guys. And so next time.